Welcome back, boys and girls. Today we're going to read an animal story about friends who help each other out. The story is called Possum and the Summer Storm, written and illustrated by Anne Hunter. Possum looked out one summer afternoon. Time to come in, he called to his baby possums. It looks like we're in for some weather. Thunder crashed. Wind howled. The possum family watched as the creek rose. Hang on tight, children. Possum yelled as their brush pile home was swept downstream. Oh, Papa, our home is gone, cried the young possums. Where will we live? Where will we sleep? Possum surveyed the soggy land below. There was not a brush pile in sight. He was good at gathering leaves, but the leaf pile was not enough. Don't worry, children, he said. We'll find a new home. Possum climbed down. A chipmunk hopped by. Where is your brush pile? she squeaked. Gone, sighed Possum, washed away. Oh, bad luck. The chipmunk sympathized. I could help you dig a new home, she offered. Dig? he asked. Yes, you know, she said. We'll dig a bedroom, bathroom, larder. Possum's eyes widened. Yes, said Possum. That sounds very nice. The possums followed the chipmunk up to higher ground. She sent Possum to gather dry leaves for bedding while she and the little Possum set to digging. Look at our new home, Papa! cried the little Possums when Possum returned. Possum looked at the door hole in dismay. I'm sure it's lovely in there, he said sadly, but I will never fit, I'm afraid. Oh dear, said the chipmunk. I can see that now. Well, perhaps you could use it as a basement. Possum and his children walked down to the marsh in search of a home. They found a nice one. Occupied, unfortunately. Hello, muskrat, he called. How did you come by such a nice house? It's a lodge, called the muskrat, and I built it myself. Cattails and mud. Want me to show you? Muskrat followed them up the rise and showed the possums how to build a dome of reeds and mud over the burrow that the chipmunk had helped them dig. A wasp flew by. What's happening here? She buzzed. Possum's brush pile washed away, answered the muskrat. He needs help building a new home. I can make a comb of chewed wood and saliva. It might make nice windows, said the wasp, and she set to work. As they stood admiring the wasp's delicate handiwork, an oriole flew in. I heard there was some building going on and thought you might need my help, he sang. Everyone knows a nest is best. Why sleep on the damp ground when you could swing in a nest? Let me show you. 
The oriole wove hammock-like nests of grasses and vines in the tree above the house. They all stood back. Oh, Papa, it's the most beautiful home in the world, exclaimed the little possums. How can we ever thank you? Possum asked the animals. We could never have done it without you. Thunder rumbled. Come in, cried Possum. The wind blew. The rain poured, and the animals watched, snug and dry, from Possum's new home. Come back soon, called Possum when the rain was over. My home is your home. The End I hope that you enjoyed this story and that you will remember the lesson that we can learn from it, which is that every problem, no matter how big, can be solved with a little help from our friends. I'll see you next time. Bye!